All right, so the Texans have brought in David Amerson for a visit. Now, David Amerson played horrible this last year. In six games that he was healthy and played the full game, he allowed 21 of 28 targets for 369 yards. He gave up four touchdowns. He didn't have a pick. And all the quarterbacks, when they would throw in his direction, had an average of 156.3 for their QBR. That That's horrible. So while DeAndre Hopkins is out here trying to recruit Malcolm Butler, and all of us are talking about these other corners that we'd much rather have and honestly played much better, the Texans brought in David Amerson. And I'm really hoping that this is not their solution to our secondary. Because this just seems like a Texans kind of move. Hey, we have secondary issues, and I know our stars are kind of recruiting this corner who's been pretty elite for the past couple of years. But let, let's get this other guy who's a little bit bigger and lengthier. That, that just screams Texans to me. Now, his uh, pro football focus grade, it was horrible. A 39.2. Now, for comparison, Kevin Johnson, who also played horrible, had their lowest grade at 32 even. So the lowest grade was 32 by Kevin Johnson, and David Amerson had a 39.2. That's, that's not a solution. And if you want to compare David Amerson to the rest of our secondary, Kareem Jackson graded out at a 52.2. Jonathan Joseph, he graded out at a 75.7. Tristan Deku, who came off the bench, 72.6. And then Marcus Williams, 63.6. You see the difference in those grades? Like, that's, that's just without getting into all the details that went into those grades. There's a 30-point gap between the corners that made up the worst secondary in the league. So... He played horrible last year, was hurt just as much as uh, Kevin Johnson was, graded out poorly, gave up a ton of yards, gave up a ton of touchdowns, didn't get any turnovers, and quarterbacks had a field day with him on the field. So please, for the love of God, Houston, stay away from David Amerson.